Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, so here he is, the inimitable last style bender, Israel Adesanya, still undefeated as a mixed martial artist. DC, you tried to bring him in to emulate John Jones back in the day, and he's such a meticulous, thoughtful guy that he said no because Luke Rocco was in that gym and he thought he might have to fight him one day. He knew that at some point he would reach Luke Rocco in his division, so he said, you know what? I want to help you, DC, but I can't because of what's going to happen going forward in my career. He did not want to put Luke or himself in such an awkward situation. How about forward thinking? How about I'm forward thinking that that would have come to pass only a few short years later? But in Israel Adesanya, you also have the mentality, but the fighting ability to become a UFC champion in only 12, 13 months. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 26 wins, five losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Sean Strickland! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your home. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just there. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, 
getting an early takedown. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. All right, so he postures up here. Nicely done. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Oh, he's got a choke. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Close guard. Adesanya gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Big, powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Final minute. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, man, that was slick. All right, closed guard now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. And how about the submission defense on that young man in the previous round? He's so well versed in all areas of mixed martial arts. Now was on full display as he defended a real deep submission attempt. Oh, nice punch there by Adesanya. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Campbell inches like that. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice punch land over the top. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Three minutes and change to go in round two. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, big shot land. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all limbs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he landed the strike that he was looking for. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? 
Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Adesanya. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, nice jab. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Straight punch lands. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. That one landed clean. And he comes through with a big knee. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He report. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Adesanya gets hit with a kick. And now, now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Oh, big left hook there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Left hand punch from the clinch. Nice Luther punch. Great upper body movement. To yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. the right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Nice kick there by Adesanya. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. You ready? You ready? Fight! Big clutch lands through the middle. Big power shot there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's hurt! He's hurt! Look at the control. Oh, big knee! Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. 
mercifully, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. No telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 59 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel. After a huge knockout win tonight, you going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.